Hey guys, how are you doing? It's Crypto here bringing another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Happy Sunday. And today I want to go over um 10 entry level IT jobs that uh you can get started and looking at right now, if that makes sense. Obviously, if you're new to my channel, you know what to do, right? Come subscribe. And I'm gonna sh share my screen. I'm gonna share this article with you on my description of the video, obviously. And we're gonna talk about it a little bit. This is gonna be a short video today, nothing crazy. I just want to go over um 10 entry level IT jobs that um that way you could do to get hired and stuff like that all right so let me share my screen screen uno all right so 10 entry level it jobs what you can do to get hired so this came out august august 10 it's a few months ago and this actually is um still relevant because it's 2022 obviously this will change uh, uh, as the years stop come by if that makes sense but um first job obviously <laughs> i'm gonna go over this because it has helped us got it right so help this technician um annual salary is forty two thousand dollars, um it's gonna grow nine percent, requirements knowledge of computer systems troubleshooting certifications, uh you may need a bachelor's degree you may not it really depends on the company you may need CompTIA A plus you may not it really depends on the company remember I, I talk about this. For common help desk interview questions what is troubleshooting process can you describe a time when you had to work with someone you didn't get along with, what will you do if you face with with a technical issue you didn't know how to resolve it. How important are tech skill? How important are IT skills in service desk roles? So yeah, this is, and this is advertising the Google IT support, uh, course, which makes sense because they are affiliated with CompTIA. But uh, yeah, it's there. Um, help desk is not going anywhere. You guys, people think that it's gonna get automated. It's not. It really depends on the company. Most places that I worked in financial firms, they 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 rather have a human on the back end than have a robot on the back end. Just saying. All right. Numero dos, two. IT technician, $42,000 and 8% annual growth. Knowledge of computer systems, troubleshooting, certifications, associate's degree, or bachelor's degree may be re requested. Me, I don't really look at job titles because sometimes these titles annoy the hell out of me because you, you could be called help desk, right? And all you do is password reset all day. And I've seen this based on students I have trained. They have these crazy titles and then they don't do anything. Like they just do password reset or they do account creation or they just move tickets to other people's queue, and that's literally what they do all day. Like, it really depends on the job description. Please look at the job description, okay? Uh, knowledge of computer systems, okay. Can you tell me what an IP address is? Yes, yes, we know what that is. Can you, what, what do you like about being an IT professional? Well, it's entirely up to you how you want to answer that question. Tell me more, tell me, tell me about a time you work at on a team, yeah. What do you do to maintain your technical certification? So I, I guess, what do you do to stay up to date? If that makes sense. I never took this certification. It's an interesting sir. IBM technical support. Hmm, I should look at that later. Um, Number three, web developer. Okay, yeah, web developer makes sense. It's a, call, a coder, yep. Ability to associates, associates, bachelor's, master's degree may be requested. Uh, Yeah, full stack developer, HTML, CSS, Java. You may see Ruby on Rails. You may see Python, you may see um, uh, Terraform, it really depends on the company. Uh, can you tell me about a project you're most proud of? What APIs have you worked with? What are the differences between develop developing for mobile and desktop? Explain long polling. Yeah, so there's, there's actually a, a cert right here, Meta Back End Developer. Interesting. I actually have this, actually, because I'm, I'm partner with Corsair, so I could, actually, I could take this if I wanted to, but I'm not. You guys know I'm not into coding, <laughs> just saying. But anyway, next one. System administrator, 80,000, 5% annual. Yeah, system administrator, it, it's it's still there. It's not going anywhere. Now now it's a combination of cloud and um, coding. You got to know coding now and automation. So it gets it gets very complicated with, with, these, with these job requirements now. Um, system administrator is a call as computer administrator, install, configure, maintain, operation of multi-user multi -user computer systems. In servers, a successful system and uses their knowledge of software, hardware, and networks to keep business running smoothly. Their roles can overlap heavily with networking. Yeah, that's true. In some jobs, I have seen that you may be required to have CCNA if you work as you work as sysadmin role. Yeah, so it really depends on the company. What is a frustrating support issue you are encounter? What is DNS? How does it work? The domain name server. Okay, that makes sense. How would you go about troubleshooting a problem you don't understand? What experience do you have with hardware components? Yeah, so and then this is the Google uh, Google System Administrator IT Infrastructure Services. This is, this is very interesting. I should probably go over this um, at some point. The next job, job number five, or Cinco, 
Um, $99,000 system analyst, 7% annual growth certifi certification, associate's degree, bachelor's degree, or equivalent may be preferred. System analysts may sound similar to system administrators, but they are quite different. The goal of a system of analysts is to make a company's computing systems more effective, more e efficient and effective. And they identify opportunities for improvement in design and test and deploy systems to execute those improvements. Uh, while not always a requirement, bachelor's degree in computer or information science can be can make you competitive for this job. Okay. What is the ACP server, dynamic host configuration protocol, and why would you use it? Yeah, obviously, you, you have your A records, you have your DNS, your, your DACP server on the server itself. You make A records, you do reservations, you do lease time. Um, you reserve an IP address, really depends on the company. You may have a static IP, really depends on the company. Uh, what would you include in a, in a software audit? So they're auditing for cybersecurity as well. You need to know about risk and compliance. You need to know about auditing. You need to understand how things are done on the back end and cybersecurity end. What's the largest projects you worked on the, in the past? That makes sense. What is your process for analyzing and evaluating existing systems? It says information systems. I never took this one before. It's interesting. Uh, project management, critical thinking, management, IT skills, knowledge, finance, accounting skills, and knowledge in business. Interesting. Database administrator, 98,000. This is what Keep It Techie does. Salute to him. I, I, if you guys aren't subscribed to Keep It Techie, go subscribe to him. And I'll probably leave it below in the description of the video. He has he does do database in Linux. So I recommend you, you look at his videos. He also has a course for Linux. Might as well look at that as well, right? So database administrator, organize and secure data. This is especially a critical task for companies with large information systems like banks, hospitals, ensuring that databases operate efficiently, helps companies analyze and leverage their data for growth. Build a foundation for a job and database administrator with a bachelor's degree in computer or information related field. You can set yourself for success by learning database languages from mostly common structure, query language, SQL. So you may see like uh, uh, Mongo, uh, Mongo data, data, uh, database, um, MongoDB, as that's what it's called. I was, I was at the AWS summit. I, I see them pop up here and there. Um, common questions. How do you prevent data loss during your migration to the cloud? How do you troubleshoot database problems? How do you learn about new applications? Describe your workflow without direct supervision. Interesting. All right, let's go to the next one. Introduction to structure, query, language, SQL. Interesting. Site reliability engineer, 34%. Oh, that's a lot. Holy crap. All right, site reliability for site reliability or DevOps experience related skills, bachelor's degree or if equivalent experience may be requested. Site reliability engineers keep the websites and apps we use up and running smoothly. SREs develop automated solutions for common, common development operation tasks like latency, monitoring, capacity planning, emergency responding. As long as technology continues to play a role in the data in the day-to-day -day lives, they will be growing demands for SREs. That, that makes that makes sense. Like DevOps, do you, DevOps are it's not going anywhere. That's 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 a thing that's here. I seen a couple of people that are working DevOps now. Um so yeah, it's it's definitely not going anywhere. What are, what what does your current employment pipeline look like? What is the difference between a DevOps and SRE? What are some common agriculture bottlenecks? What is cloud computing? Interesting. They got the IBM DevOps and software engineer. Uh, 14 months. Next job, obviously, we're going to have number A as a software developer. Software developers are everywhere. You, you, it's always going to be on demand. You cannot avoid that. 22% annual growth. Experience of programming languages, bachelor's degree, and master's degree may be requested. Yeah, it really depends on the company. Like It, it says these things here, but I see people get jobs without having a degree in IT and just being a software developer, just in general. Just, just saying. So software developers sometimes call software engineers, build the systems and applications that run on computers, phones, and other devices. Yep, that makes sense. Four common software developer interview questions. What are your top programming languages? Can you tell me about a tough development program, how you solve it? How would you diagnose and resolve a bug in a critical application? What projects are you currently working on? So this is this is uh this is that meme, you know, that 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 meme. I resolved that bug, or I I uh uh, funny enough, me, me and this guy got along. Um, and we went, we, we he, he had a bug. We got along. We went to a bar. We went to a bar together. Something it's like an inside jokes about about being a software developer. But, uh, yeah, software developer is another good job you could you could go for. Me, I, I'm always gonna go back to help desk because you know I do help desk training and I do IT support training. So 
or system admin. I do system admin videos as well. So I always will go back to those three things. Um, let's go to the next one. All right, let's see. Information security analyst. All right, 33%, $102,000. Good money right there. All right. Information security analysts, this is called as security analyst, cybersecurity analysts are tasked with protecting a company's computer network and systems. This involves planning, implementing security measures, uh, quickly addressing security breaches should they uh, should they occur as the technology continues to advance. So does the need for uh, robust security. Yeah, so some of these jobs may require security. Plus, I agree with that. Really depends on the company because if you work for a government job, you may you're gonna need the security plus. You cannot avoid the security plus. And I know people talk bad about CompTIA certifications when at the end of the day, some of these search are required in a job, unfortunately. So you're going to have to get it anyway, right? So that's how it is. Uh, for, for common information security analyst questions, what's the process used to secure a server? How do you defend your personal wireless access point? What tools are used for performing, performing security assessments? What are three ways to authenticate somebody? So... Uh, here we go again. I'm going to shout out somebody else. If you want cybersecurity stuff, you want the game in cybersecurity stuff, go look at InfoSec Pack. Uh, and I'll leave it below in the description of the video. Go look at Professor Block Ops. I'll leave him below in the description of the video. Go look at Textual Chatter as another cybersecurity person. Um, and we have we we have uh, Neil Bridges as well. We have uh, Gerald from Simply Cyber. Um, we have... Um, I'm thinking on the top of my head right now. Do we have any more security guys I can think of? I have a bunch of them, but I'll leave some of them below in the description of the video to get you started in information security, if that makes sense. Because I'm friends with all of them, and they they have some great videos. All right. Oh, InfoSec Live. I forgot InfoSec with Simon. We have below in the description as well. All right. Next next person or next job, I guess. Uh, cloud engineering. Yeah, this is this is cloud. Uh, one hundred three thousand dollars, twenty seven percent annual growth. It's gonna keep growing because everyone's asking for cloud. Even in my desk, even in desktop support roles, you need to know cloud now. You didn't you didn't need to know that before. Now, if you work desktop senior desktop support and these jobs, financial firms that I have been looking at, I've been looking at job requirements, you need to know either Azure AD Connect or you need to know AD a, AWS and how to run an instance, an AC, uh, EC, EC instance, NC instance. Can't even talk right now. Uh, yeah. So you need to know how to run either Google Cloud, um, w, AWS. Or um, Azure. And this is a job requirements for desktop support. I'm seeing that it now. It's, I'm not. You cannot avoid cloud. Like cloud is here to stay. It's not going anywhere. All right. Knowledge of cloud platforms, bachelor's degree, master's, or equivalent. Well, it really depends. Cloud engineers have helped business migrate applications, functions, process to the cloud. Yeah, obviously this is rare. Uh, you may need to know AWS. You need to know Azure. You may need to know Google Cloud. It really depends on the company, right? Many companies look for entry level candidates with at least a bachelor's degree in computer science or related, right? Common questions. What are the benefits of cloud computing for a business? How do you design how do you design for failure? Can you describe your most challenging cloud computing project? What are the advantages of cloud computing? So this is landing an entry-level job. And then that's it. That's pretty much it for this one. Um now all the resources here. I'm gonna leave this below in the description of the video. I just wanted to go over this because it covers help desk, it covers IT support. And for someone trying to get into the cloud, look at GPS. She has videos on cloud computing. She also works for Microsoft. So I'll leave her below in the description of this video. Um, and then that's it. That's pretty much it for me. Obviously, I'm always going to go over help desk because I'm a help desk guy. That's, I'm, that's my niche for uh, my YouTube channel. And I'm going to stop sharing. These are these are some common jobs you could go to right now that are entry level. So I'm going to leave it below in the description. With that being said, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I just wanted to go over this. I wanted to share this with you. And I wish you the best in your IT career. And if you need help with anything, just reach out to me on Discord. I'm here on Discord, all right? Take care, guys. Peace, later, and have a good weekend.